हाई एवरी वन दिस इज सॉमे जिदर साइड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन माई चैनल आज का वीडियो बहुत ही ज्यादा एक्साइटिंग वीडियो है इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट टॉप टेन कंट्रीज इन विच यू कैन सेटल एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर योर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिफरेंट कंपनीज दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन दीज टॉप टेन कंट्रीज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल दोज कंपनीज विच स्पॉन्सर वर्क वीजा सो दैट यू कैन डिरेक्टली गेट हायर्ड इन दीज कंपनीज across different countries not only this we have also discussed the relative compensation that is paid by these companies in these countries we have discussed about the tax structure the cost of living the quality of life the healthcare system all in all a complete package to understand what different countries are out there in which you can safely relocate so if you are someone who wanted to know this stuff or is excited to know about different countries as well as the global tech scene then you have come to the right video before starting however i must say that the like target of this video is 1.5000 likes so go ahead and smash that like button it will definitely help the channel a lot daba ke like maro yaar aur share kar do apne doston ke sath so that the video reaches as many people as possible now without further ado let's get started Number ten is Switzerland. Some of the notable, reputable companies that are present in Switzerland are Google and Adobe. Apart from that, IBM also has its offshore office there, and there are a few consultancy firms as well as small-scale startups. The cost of living in Switzerland is insanely high, and hence is the salary. If you compare it with that of U.S. salaries, Switzerland is probably the only country in the world which has comparable salaries with that of U.S.A. Healthcare system in Switzerland is amazing to say the least. They have a mix of public, semi-private and private organizations that cater to it. Unlike rest of the euro, in Switzerland you would have to mandatorily pay for your own health insurance. As a direct result to that, the taxation in Switzerland is super low. To give a perspective, the maximum tax rate at Switzerland is only 19%. It is probably the lowest tax rate that you can get anywhere across Europe. Savings will definitely be comparable to that of USA if not more, as well as Switzerland is a picturesque and a beautiful country to visit and stay. My only reason of ranking Switzerland at number 10 is that the number of tech companies that have its presence in Switzerland is very very low. Number 9 is UAE or United Arab Emirates. Uh, some of the major companies that are present in UAE and that actively hire candidates from India is Noon and Kareem. Kareem is a ride-hailing company that was recently acquired by Uber. Apart from that, there is a limited presence of Microsoft as well as Amazon in Dubai. One of the major advantages of UAE is that there is no income tax at all uh, so it's a zero income tax country dubai as a city is really expensive but not as expensive as the major metropolitan cities across the world like uh, new york or tokyo or san francisco and so on and so forth at entry level and mid senior level roles because of zero taxes paid and the ability to save some amount of money you will definitely have decent savings if not great for a senior level role however you will definitely have good savings because of the amount of money that is paid for senior level is significantly higher however there is no prominent tech scene apart from a handful of local and a couple of multinational companies that are present there hence ranking it at number 9 number 8 is australia slash new zealand uh, some of the major companies that actively hire candidates from outside of australia and sponsor visas are atlassian canva dolby google and amazon however the pay there is much much lower typically speaking the pay in australia or new zealand is somewhere in the range of 30 to 40% of the pay in usa the cost of living is high in major cities and the tax is ridiculously high just to give you an example the lowest tax bracket here at australia starts at 32% of your take home salary however on the other hand australia does have a very efficient free or extremely economical healthcare system in place in fact in a global ranking australia's healthcare system ranks number 3 only behind norway and netherlands definitely the amount of saving that you will do in australia owing to extremely high taxes and a uh, high cost of living and low 
salary compared to the rest of the world will not be much hence ranking it at number eight number seven is germany some of the companies that directly hire candidates from all across the world into them are amazon stripe wayfair delivery hero google zalando snowflake to name a few one of the major cons in working and living in germany is the german language Typically speaking, to work there as well as to live there and to do your day-to-day -day activities, it is always recommended that you know the German language. Without that, it will become extremely difficult for you to survive there. Apart from it, Germany do have free healthcare system because of which Germany also has high taxes. Compensation being offered by companies in Germany is typically low and it is around 30 to 33 percent of that of a normal us salary however you will definitely enjoy amazing work-life balance all across different companies that are present in germany notice period in typical companies uh, present in germany tends to be around two to three months which might be challenging for switching jobs number six is japan some of the major companies that actively hire candidates from all across the world, including India, are indeed Microsoft, Google, Apple, Mercari, Unity Technologies, and GE. Unity Technologies is a company that typically makes game engines. One major con similar to that of Germany is that you should know the Japanese language. However, if you do end up working in traditional American-based companies, then yes, English is the primary form of communication there. However, if you want to do your day-to-day -day activities and improve your quality of life there, the knowledge of the Japanese language is super important the cost of living needless to say is extremely high in tokyo tokyo is probably one of the most expensive cities in the world and the compensation is typically in the range of around 50 percent to that of usa hence you will definitely save some amount of money but not quite a lot one major problem with traditional japanese companies is the work-life balance as well as the work culture Typically, they go for a toss in these companies. Hence, I have ranked Japan at number six. Before continuing to the top five countries, I would like to say if you are enjoying the video, then go there and smash the like button and share it among your friends and peers. Just a reminder, like target 1.5,000 likes hai. So, ja ke daba ke like maro yaar. Kiska intazar kar rahe And not only this, also comment down below what according to you should be the top five countries. Let's see how much of them you get it right. If you are someone who wants to improve their resume, as well as become a better developer by working on real life problems, real life applications and understand how these work, then definitely you should check out a very good platform, which is Cryo. I have personally seen their curriculum and it is absolutely tailored to make you fall in love with development. There are several courses that are available in Cryo, uh, backend development, frontend development, full stack development, and all of the three materials are tailor-made to make you understand the individual concepts that are required to build an application. Not only this, you will throughout the course be building quite a few number of applications on your own, which you can even put in your resume. I have a coupon code Somyajit that you can use to avail 10% discount at any of their courses. Many of the top tech companies do use Cryo for training their new hires. So definitely go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description below. You can go there and avail the discount for yourself. Number five is Netherlands. Some of the major companies that constantly hire candidates in Netherlands are Uber, Booking.com, Flexport, Redis Labs, GitLab, Stripe, Elastic, to name a few. From compensation perspective, with respect to Germany, definitely the compensation in Netherlands is higher. Not only this, it has amazing tax structure. Uh, as well as has quite a bit of tax breaks for foreign individuals who are working there. The cost of living in Amsterdam is also much lower than that of Germany or other major European metropolitan cities, which means the amount of money that you will be spending to live there is quite less. Both of them are a part of European Union, which means you typically get free access to all the different countries that are part of the European Union. So if you want to go to Germany, lagta hai to fir germany or netherlands se behtar jagah aur koi ho hi nahi sakti just a quick disclaimer uh, in the next top 4 countries all the major companies that are present all across the world be it startup be it mncs be it large companies or small companies whatever major big name companies are present they all have huge offices in these four countries hence i am not naming 
uh, each and every company in each and every country. Number four is Canada. Definitely many of you guys would have guessed this country right at the start of the video. Canada is one of the top countries where there are a huge, huge number of tech offices as well as the tech scene is growing rapidly there. In Canada, the compensation hovers around 65% to 70% of that of US compensation. From a taxes perspective in Canada, a very high amount of income tax is levied generally all across different states in Canada. The income taxes can go as high as 40% and even more. The cost of living generally in Canada is super high comparable to that of major cities all across the world. Hence, the amount of saving that you will end up doing in Canada is typically lower. However, there are some advantages to this high tax rate. One being a decent enough healthcare and public education system, which is typically free of cost. The quality of life in Canada is definitely quite high because of all the things that the Canadian government does. Number three is Singapore. And definitely there are a lot of tech companies and finance companies that have made Singapore their hub uh, because of obvious reasons, because of ease of doing business there. In fact, Flipkart, our India's very own e-commerce company, Company is also headquartered in Singapore, just like many other Indian companies, Indian startups that have chosen Singapore to be their company's headquarters because of the ease of doing business there is very high. From a tax perspective as well, Singapore has one of the lowest tax rates and great public transportation system all across the city as well as the country. The country in itself is extremely small and is directly connected with neighboring countries like Thailand and Malaysia, which you can definitely go for a weekend getaway. The maximum tax rate at Singapore is capped at around 22% only. The cost of living in Singapore is typically said to be one of the highest in the world. The rents in Singapore are extremely high. From a compensation perspective, uh, in Singapore, the compensation is typically around 60% to that of USA. Number two is UK. Definitely UK is, uh, is safe to say is the center and heart of Europe from a trade, from a uh, company's perspective a huge amount of tech finance companies have made their european headquarters in london the cost of living in london is extremely high make no mistake taxes at london is also very high as high as 50 percent or even more than that for example the shares milte hai companies mein, london mein, on that particular shares the taxation is around 52% and even more than that for some use cases. From a compensation perspective, typically it is around 50% of that of US compensation uh, if you are working in core tech companies. However, if you are working in finance companies or you are from a financial domain, then the compensation can be quite high. The work-life balance and work culture is definitely very good and that is probably one part of the reason why the compensation tend to be on a lower side all across Europe. From a city perspective, it is probably one of the most lively, vibrant, crowded, fun-loving city. Number one, uh, obviously there should not be any guesses for number one, it is United States of America. However, one very a big disclaimer here is that USA, may you cannot directly get hired from India because of the screwed up uh, immigration laws that are present in USA. In all the other nine com countries that I have mentioned here, right, you can directly get hired from India without any issues because the immigration laws are relatively lenient. However, in case of USA, that is not the case. The only way in which you can get hired in USA is either you do a master's degree from USA and then uh, join a company there or you join a company here in India and then take a transfer to USA uh, via the L1 visa. Otherwise, you do not typically stand a chance to get a job in USA directly from India. Uh, now, once we have that out of the way, what I want to say is definitely USA is the place to be if you want to enjoy the highest salary that is there to offer in the world for any company for that matter, be it a startup, be it a established company, one of the highest compensation is paid out in USA. Coupled with it, relatively lower taxes in different states in USA will mean that you will be able to save up a lot. Not only this, typically speaking, generally, the prices of electronic items, the prices of cars and all the other items are lesser than that of India. Hence, you will be able to afford those better. However, cost of living is definitely high in USA, but the cost of living varies wildly 
from one city to another. For example, San Francisco and New York has very high cost of living. However, relatively speaking, Seattle has a lower cost of living as well as a 10% lower tax. Not only this, there are other cities across USA where the cost of living reduces further. All in all, I would say USA is the place to be if your main motive is to save money, increase your net worth, increase your compensation, as well as B, in the middle of innovation. I really hope that you like my content. I have tried my level best to give you an unbiased and honest, clear picture of what to expect from which countries that are present out there that you definitely can relocate to and settle peacefully. Here, comment down below if you would want me to make detailed videos around each country, immigration laws, taxes, cost of living, uh, the salary that is offered at different levels, at different job profiles, and so on and so forth. I'll gladly do it. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then smash that like button. Like target is 1.5 thousand likes. Uh, share it among your friends and peers so that it reaches as many people as possible and it helps the channel. This is Swami Ajit, bidding goodbye. Das Vidanya.